I did these um, two portrait sketches and I thought I would bring them to my class in Vermont. The one on the left was done on Arches oil paper that I just sealed with ivory black. And then I actually did a clear coat of gel medium just to see what it would feel like. Um, and the one on the right was just um, water-based polyurethane on some black Fabriano paper. You know, the title just says black, black. So, but I put them out there in the sun because um, I thought I would let them dry as much as possible because we are leaving tomorrow for Vermont. And I have to pack these now. We made it to Wilkes Bar, uh, Pennsylvania. And look at this. Can you believe this is what our hotel, if we're in a Marriott, I guess, residence. I mean, we've never had a hotel room with a dishwasher and fridge. Is anything in here? No? Okay. Um, maybe this is for people who do like business trips or something. And, um, oh, okay. There's, there's the bathroom in there. Okay, beautiful drive. We are on our way to Land Grove. And, oh, look at that. That is adorable. I mean, is that not the cutest thing ever? Okay. Rainforest blend. Oh, look at that. I've never seen a toaster that tiny. You guys probably can't tell, but it does look like a very tiny toaster. Okay. We have made it. Yay. Yeah, very easy drive. Scott and I are on the tail end of two days of driving up to Vermont. The weather has been wonderful and we just are stopping off just a few miles before we hit Langrove Inn. Um, this cute little general store. This, this is what typical New England looks like. You know, it's just so charming. And we thought, hey, we'll see what's here. Maybe we'll get some maple syrup or something. Who knows? Scott's going for a walk. It's been a long two days of driving. I'm sorry, but I had to film inside. You guys have never seen a really New England country store. You know, they kind of sell everything because the big stores are so far away. But um, oh, I just have to show you everything. You know, if you're never gonna get to New England, always have antiques they make sandwiches and bakery goods and oh my gosh this is the most charming thing ever carrot muffins scones cappuccinos baked breads stuffed animals everything you could possibly want oh so I'm gonna get some snacks and Scott will get some Ooh, I have got to get some maple syrup too. Oh, maple bitters. What's that? Okay, we'll maybe get some of that. Okay. Yummy. I thought I'd show you just some of the charming roads in Vermont. The houses are always like out of a picture book. Lots of stone fences. Oh, there's an obelisk. We're not quite sure why there's so many of those. Winding roads. Like we're. All, I was trying to think. Like, what is this like in the midst of winter? I am sort of a baby about driving in winter, and so these roads are so twisty, turny, and I think, oh my gosh. But then they're pretty good about clearing stuff up here. And hopefully you'd have a, you know, hopefully you'd have a four-wheel drive.
was here it was in the July. I don't even know how many years ago it was. Maybe five? I'm gonna say five, five, six. It was really warm. And now we are arriving in the middle of September. Beautiful Land Grove Inn since 1935. That's the barn where the art classes are. Do you want me to move over there and unload? Um, or or just park over no, we'll park over here first and then say hi and then figure out where our room is. Okay. It reminds me just very much like a Norman Rockwell painting. Hey. Hello. <laughs> like you're surprised to see me. He always gets shy. Hello. So uh, Tom, the owner, built that, you know, to like probably have writing workshops and yoga things and little by little meeting artists he's turned it into like a beautiful art space too. Scott and I just arrived and I thought before people came in this is like the older oldest section where they people hang out at night after dinner and um, they just chat and I'm gonna show you all the paintings on the walls from past teachers oh my gosh we just got to play with a little puppy well actually not a puppy i don't know if you see that tiny 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 little doggy sleeping right there 10 year old the size of our cat theo oh my gosh look at this bar i mean this really has a Is lot of history I right yeah i remember they used to have a couch right here so the last time i was here mm -hmm. i would sit here a lot at night Yep, and I was the only one watching TV, because I'm a TV-aholic, and I remember vividly there was a couch right here. Oh gosh, look at how low the ceilings are. I know you think about what was going on here in like 1942, right? Like, all right, so, is this the way we go? No, this way. Um, no, we have to go through. Well, you can if you want, but this, this hallway goes there too. Oh no, this is it. So it's a meandering place, right? So lots of little, like here's another entrance. This is the entrance for when people want to come and eat in the um, restaurant. And there's all different kinds of rooms. And so this is the beautiful restaurant where the students have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's an excellent restaurant. So people do come from all over to eat here. And we're staying. Oh, and this is probably, usually they set aside a table for students so they can all hang out together. All right, I think I know where we're going. The, I remember too, like when Scott was here before we sat, this is like another little living room and we sit and watch TV. I love how they have art. So these must be like teachers who have taught here so, um, yeah, I'll have to look I around. This from before, Eric Weigart. Oh, Eric Weigart. A long time ago, yeah. I love this. Now, book. did he go to the American Academy he went of to Art? The American Academy of Art, but before, before I was, he was finished just before I started, so I never so actually met him in preschool. Eric White, yeah, I remember Weigart, being in I school. Like and so here's another entrance. And I don't know who did that. I can't read the handwriting. Is that Tatiana? Tatiana. Yeah. Okay, maybe she's the Putney painter. So, wait, that didn't do anything. Um, hmm. All right. <laughs> These stairs are so shallow or narrow that my feet don't even fit on them. Okay, so I think this is our room. Nope. All right, we're going to have to open it. I remember, um, oh my gosh, look at all these like, tiny little doors. I remember peeking in there the last time. I don't think this is it. But Maybe that's, he says that's the room that we were in before. Okay. Maybe try the other direction. This is, I think it actually in here. Oh, it doesn't fit in? <laughs> huh. Well, that's funny. I think he forgot. Because this was the room we were in before. But that's number three. And we have to go to number two. Number two. That says number two? No, I don't think that is. Okay. Oh, fine, Maybe he gave us the wrong key. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> There's rooms this way. 
Jackson. You guys, he has so many artists here. Wow, that's beautiful. So, oh, it's upstairs. Yeah. Paul Maybe Jackson. Oh, you know what? Maybe this was where we were. No, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> oh, this must be like the honeymoon suite. Nice. No, we had number wow. three before. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Wow. I know Kathy was over in this wing before. This is a newer wing. Look at this! Amazing. This is very big. Holy cow, this is... Oh, wait, look at that tub. Yeah, this is like the honeymoon suite. Wow, Scott. Remember on the ride, I was like, let's envision... Let's envision um, us having a nice room. And my manifestation came true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a little fridge. Scott, I should have bought that oat milk. <laughs> we just went to that cute little store you guys remember and i was looking at i'm like well i can't buy anything so i don't have any place to put it oh trying to open this with one arm look at this oh my gosh scott do you still want to leave me this is nice oh tennis courts i remember going for a beautiful long walk i mean every house here is charming it really, it is like people just keep things up really nicely. It's a great place to sit out here. It's totally, sh you know, out yeah. of the and everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what a lovely lawn. You can watch the moose and bear walking down the So there's a little seating area down here. Anyways, I hope this entices you guys. If you ever want to visit Vermont, this is a perfect way to like hang out with your girlfriends or husband. Uh -huh and come and uh, do art, have fun, and get to see um, Vermont at its finest. <gasps> yeah, like this is cool. Scott's gonna be leaving me. <laughs> He's gonna go stay with I'll Nancy. Two nights with And me. then I have this big bed all yeah. by myself. <laughs> can have the dog come and stay. I can have the doggy come, yeah. It is all coming back to me. So there's two bathrooms back here. Scott drove up so that we can unload lights. Yeah, it's beautiful. So this is usually where he has it, the model. And like I said, he does a lot of watercolor classes. So, you know, people tend to work on tables, but since we are going to be painting, oh, we'll get to look at some of the some of the paintings from the last class. Yeah. Where should I put this stuff over Scott, there? I guess maybe put it over there. That way I'll keep all my stuff over there. All right. So we brought some good lights. We'll see what these lights look like. I brought extra light too, just because um, sometimes like if I'm, you know, if your canvas is like facing the wall a little bit, sometimes you feel like you're in the dark. So I got some nice small lights from B&H. Um, all right, this is cool. No, this will be fun. A big, beautiful space, garbage cans. So I just thought I would film it before anyone comes. I'll see if I'll get some time tomorrow to do a few little videos of what it's like to have the whole class in here. Ooh, let's see what's in here. Okay, you know, a little kitchen for people to heat up their coffee. A fridge for people to like, you know. All right, perfect. All right, nice. Scott, what size, is this like a 20 by 30? Yeah. So Scott did some abstract fun stuff to it and he was showing me, if you can see very, very, very faintly, there's a face. Uh, he started, was this sort of like a, a, like a chalk, it like started, a pastel? It, yeah, like a pastel chalk one, but we ran out of, something happened and we were interrupted and couldn't finish it. Oh, so you it. did this from life? I did this from life at David Simpson's a long oh, time ago. Oh, and you started on a big board like that, huh? I was gonna do all kinds of things on it, but 
we got interrupted. So this has been sitting there for maybe three or four years, probably, probably four or five years. And what is this? It's like a watercolor this board? It's a watercolor, crescent, crescent watercolor, watercolor board. Crescent watercolor board. And so I wanted to have some abstract panels to paint So you're going to try and paint and maybe keep that face there? Yeah, I think so that'd be fun. What I did is I just took acrylics like two days ago before I, I prepared a bunch of these. And I just put acrylics on it and then just dragged yeah. like uh, a scraper thing across it. One and those then those rubber I, scrapers. And then I put a uh, a uh, the clear gesso yeah, no, I love, over like, everything. So. I love these pinks that are dragged through. It'll be yeah. interesting to see how much you can leave that. I've got a couple others. Because, here. Um, it, you know, it'd be tempting to like as you're painting a model. But I, I, I think it'd be fun for you to try and leave that as yeah, much well, as possible. And these are other ones that I prepared before we So left. these are maybe ones that you might use when you paint with Nancy. Yeah, these are all probably Or do you think you'll try one uh, tomorrow? Yeah, so I don't know if I'll do it vertical or horizontal, or I might just put a, I might have a model and then have other things on I it. I love or, those purples. Or I might just actually cut it. You yeah, know, yeah. Uh, cut it. Cut it in half, because that, that would be like, side. yeah. But some of these are real thick, and, um, and so this acrylics, and then I just sealed it with. So that would be a um, 15 by 20 if you cut it in half, right? Is my math yeah, ridiculous? Yeah, I think this is 20 by 30. <laughs> so, yeah. My brain has to work so hard to figure that out. Is it a 15 by 20? Well, this is 20 by 30. I know. It would be, I don't um, want to embarrass yeah. myself to the universe. It would be 10 by, yeah. And then there's another one, too, that I had just... Uh, this, I think you should use one of these scraps. tomorrow, yeah. These are scraps when I was using... Um, when I was doing other things with acrylics, I would just, instead of cleaning my palette off, uh -huh. I would just put them on here. Yeah. Um, and uh, and then save them. And so, you know, this will be the basis. So I'll cover some of them. Okay, and so they're sealed with some kind of... Um... Sealed with clear gesso. Okay. So, yeah, so they're... Uh, it's like gessoing a pan. So you can paint on it, and if you don't like it, you could literally wash it off, and, it, right. and it's kind of like erasing. I'll be painting an oil on it. So, yeah, if I don't like it, I'll just wash it off, and this All is right. going to be there. Scott, you're, you're just getting too artsy in your old age. <laughs> well, trying to experiment. Yeah. The two sketches that I brought, I didn't have good photos of. So Scott is taking photos of them. And see how he's slightly uh, going down? Although we probably don't have any glare on this. My painting isn't that thick. But um, he's gonna take photos of these, just in case. You never know what's gonna happen. Scott, tell me what the, um, what are the numbers on the camera if people are shooting on it? It's in sun, so I'm at 100, 100 uh, ISO, uh, so it's the least grainy, uh -huh. and then I'm at 100th of a second. Because, uh, yeah, I could tell it was delayed. And 13, well, that's the timer yeah. I have on. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, I can turn that off, actually. Um, I don't really need it for that, for this. I'll actually turn that off. I have a, I, I shoot when I'm shooting a long exposure. I can tell my picture is maybe flapping in the wind a little bit. Yeah, that's that why I'm shooting it. We don't uh, have to worry as much because I'm shooting it at a higher See speed, how, so. like, see how my fingers are holding it? We didn't want to have, like, shadow from that thing coming down. So my fingers are just holding it. Okay, so I'm going to turn this to single. Now, does it matter if we're paint taking this in the shade or in the sun? Uh, it, it'll be different in both, so. But I mean, what's better? I think the sun will, will make it very straight. Uh, what does that mean? Difficulty straight. So the colors should come out oh. pretty good. Um, <laughs> you're just making up words. The problem is when you're out in a place like this where you have all the green around mm -hmm. and the sky around. When you're shooting it outside, the sky. If you're shooting in the shade, the sky can put a lot of blue cast into it. It can also bounce off the green, put right, a lot right. of green into it. The sun is so bright that it should only. This, this is late sun though, and it's not super yellow. I, I'm shooting, I, what I'm shooting is I'm going to bracket this, and I'm shooting one shot is going to be um, raw, and one is going to be JPEG. So you can put the raw in there, and you can adjust the. Uh, All the I'm white saying balance. is that we're in Vermont, and the sun, I mean, it's not super hot. Yeah. And it's about. Um, I don't know, is it four in the afternoon? So you are getting shadows, but it's not like a super hot yellow sun. Yeah. The sky is still quite blue and there's a lot of clouds, so okay. it might be different yeah. like All right, let's see here. depending where you are in the world. Okay, you got it? And move out of the sun. Oh, okay. You're shading <laughs> I'm shading my picture. It's Monday morning and it's 
it's drizzling out. It's a little bit, uh, let's just say cozy. And I thought that I would just show you some of the artwork. So this is Randall Sexton. So these are probably the little demos that people have done. Oh, three course dinner, $45. So that, that's how you know how much dinner is. Look at that giant wood burning. So Ted Nuttall looks like he's an artist who's done a lot of classes here. I've seen um, a lot of his paintings on the wall. I came over to get the um, internet code. I mean, I, haven't, I don't think I've ever been through that door. So I thought I would show you some of the paintings. So here's Craig Pursley. I've never met him. I wonder if that's a, oh, that must be a painting of Tom. Oh my God, that's so fun. Another Craig Pursley. It's like a little art gallery in here. Marilyn Rose. It's hard even to see the watercolors. Beautiful. Um, I don't know who did this. Huh. And Vlad Yelseve. Reminds me a lot. There's these watercolors remind me a lot of um, the teacher that was at our school. Our school, Cheng Hong. I think I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm, I apologize profusely if I'm saying it wrong. Look at that beautiful orange. Wow. And Jen Janeri. Remember her? I met her at the Portrait Society. She's such a fabulous artist. Holy cow. And she paints all of these like a la prima. I mean, she is prolific, man. Oh, I was saying about these watercolors. They remind me a lot of that style that uh, Irving Shapiro from the school I went to, American Academy of Art. There's, it's just a tradition, a certain way of doing watercolors. Um, I don't know who did that. It's Janet Rogers because of them sorry because of the uh, glass and the lights Leslie Wilson Leslie Wilson our friend Kathy Anderson beautiful plain air demo I mean that's amazing she's gotten so good at being able to paint from life and do those demos Randall Sexton, probably a demo study that she, he did here. Doris Rice, I love this one of Kathy's. Oh my God, I don't know if the colors are showing that well. Just holy cow, so good. Hi. Hi, Susan. Hey, I'm doing a little video of the Oops. art that's in the hallway. It's like Sorry. such a great, no, what are you talking about? It's such a great uh, art show, just being able to go up. Kathy Anderson's one of our close friends. Yes. And she has good. two paintings, one right there and one right there. Beautiful. So I know some really nice artists that I, I am being introduced to. And this is Suchitra. Is that probably a demo that she did? Very, very like loose and sergeant-y. Ted Nuttall, he's, he must be been here for years because I see his work all up and down the hallways. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. Yeah, I know, right? It's like a way of, I don't understand watercolor. It's a I drawing. Don't, yeah, it's like a pencil. I don't know who did that. I don't see it signed. And there's that living room we were in. Oh, and this is a Suchitra. It's in the dark a little bit, but it's, very nice. It's interesting how the camera, like when we're looking at it in person, it's totally dark, but the camera is lighting it up. So we, we can see yeah, it. Yeah, it's showing it up a little bit better. It, it knows. <laughs> it knows. The camera knows. But that's a beautiful demo. Yeah. It's hard because, yeah, it's not a lot of light. And this is Steve Rogers. That's obviously Venice. It's beautiful. So many people do beautiful watercolors of Venice. A lot of reflections, sorry. And this is Charles Reed. He's a famous watercolorist. And my, I think my mother went to oh, wow. college with him or 
I mean, he's he must be in his eighties or close to ninety. You have a connection with this man. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Charles, back. Charles Reed is a very famous watercolorist, and a lot of people have studied with him. And this is lovely. Um, I don't think he's teaching. He might still be around. I mean, I want to look him up. Today. Yeah, yeah. No, he's one of those like just kind of old timers that have been around forever. Co Collie so Wisson. I don't yeah. know if I'm saying it correctly. He's from Australia, oh. and he comes here like every year. And he, you know, he, he's yeah, he does really wonderful landscape workshops. It's a really nice. I was looking at this. Uh, oh, Kyo Ki Kiko Taabi. I've seen her. She, um, I was introduced to her because of Faso. She has a website on Faso. Really, she has this interesting, you know, Western and Eastern um, style. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, oh, like the that? way you could see that she, you know, she kind of learned watercolor from the Eastern style. And I'm sorry, you guys, it's hard to see. Um, but then she also has that little bit of Western too. Very good. I loved her website. And here's another Randall Sexton. Oh, the beautiful sunflowers. You could tell that he just, you know, went and the guys. Remember I was telling you how sometimes when people do landscape classes, they just go to local houses and people will let them paint their <laughs> yards. <laughs> Barbara Janecki and another Randall. So I think it's people beautiful. must, people must, uh, oh, here's another. Yeah. Kali Wiss. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's the lady here, I think. No, it's a man. And yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, oh, a, it's a man. Yeah, it's a man. I don't have my glasses. It's hard to see. It oh, might be gouache, and that's probably why it's behind mm -hmm. glass. Yeah. No, I'm such a cool observant. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I would think, yeah, that's why it was so glary. There's probably art upstairs that I will have to go and okay, check. I'll have to go up there and check out the art up there sooner or later. There is a lot here. I like to video his stuff in progress. And I also just like to show people like how different we approach it. Because he, you know, he really loves to experiment immediately. But he also knows that he can get the drawing back. So if you have difficulty drawing and painting at the same time, I, I'm, I wouldn't recommend trying this because what happens is the paint gets so thick that um, then, you, then sometimes you, you know, it's like you get, you get swallowed in the paint. Mm -hmm. But no, it's cool. And he's, you're gonna try and leave that face down there? Yeah, I'll probably leave that. Yeah, face leave it. Down there. That'd yeah. be a fun little story. Here is um, the painting that Scott did yesterday. So you can still see that face a little bit there. I was joking, it kind of makes her look a little bit like. Little Red Riding Hood, but he really did capture her age. I mean, it is amazing that she is only a senior in high school. She's homeschooled, so that's how she's able to um, come and pose for us. So yeah, it's kind of fun. I do like the colors in the background. Scott took some amazing photos of her after class yesterday. I was just not up for it. Maybe when he comes back to pick me up on Friday, if she's still here. So this is mine. Definitely looks quite red on the video. I feel like we were saying how I made her look a little bit like, um, what's the, you know, the song of Bernadette, that movie? Um, well, you know how she saw that she saw the angel in France. Well, anyways, so that was all just done with um, permanent matter deep and white. And it was just done on Arches oil paper. The Arches oil paper was toned um, with just an ivory black. So you can see that it looks kind of washy. It wasn't like 100% just solid. I think today I'm going to do a profile. So I have to figure out the size I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna do. So sweet, she brought some fabrics. Um, I cannot wait to see the photos that Scott took of her. It'll be super cool. Before dinner on my second day, I decided to go for a little walk and 
I mean, it's just a uh, time has stood still in this little area. It's overcast. I'm wearing my raincoat just in case. But I, I mean, I thought there's some really great places if you just wanted to stay at this inn and go and do some landscapes. But look at just literally around the corner. Look at these sweet horses. Hi, oh, I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. All these pastures. Hi guys. Look at these, oh. They separated the brown and white ones with the black ones. Hi. You guys are pretty. I mean, yeah, like you could seriously, there's these barns over here are so big and ancient. I could totally see, and I'm not even really a barn person. I mean, you know, to paint them, but they, they have character. So the more character, the better. But I mean, you can come and do little, little paintings of these horses, these winding roads. Yeah, I thought I'd just go for a stroll before dinner time because there is so much food. It, I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's so much chillier here than in North Carolina. <laughs> you, you, you know, it's amazing like what you get used to. And then you go up north. I mean, we're pretty far north. We're close to Canada. Just about a hundred feet farther away. Look at this. There's a sweet, I'm going to stop saying charming. I'm determined to get a bigger vocabulary. Um, but I just don't know what else to say. It's so pretty. This stream. Oh, I see people. Huh. I don't think those people are in the class. Maybe they are. Isn't that funny? But yeah, these cows. I mean, I love how everything is just kind of rolling so it's not super flat. And even in this overcast, I mean, it's still very paintable. I love how they're taking photos too. <laughs> I think it'd be great if they're actually just travelers. I wonder if they're like on a walking path. Where did they come from? Look at, look at that. Oh my gosh. It is Tuesday night, second day of class. It went good. Definitely my days are getting a little bit easier. This is my demo. Is it hard to see? Yes, it's a little bit hard to see. So just talking about a profile, I did kind of a little bit of a warm and cool pink on a green surface. So a profile. Yep, tomorrow I think I'm gonna go blue. But I'm showing you the class. Had a wonderful discussion at dinner. But oh, I was coming here to get my thermos. I don't, yeah, Scott's gone. He's having fun at Nancy's. So I just wanted to come in and get my thermos. Okay. Back. I'm going to go listen to a book on tape before I go to bed. Before I forgot, forget, oh my God, I just woke up. Okay, before, when you hear my voice, it's a little froggy. Um, when I first went in the room, I was, I was looking at some of these American Art Review. They just had a bunch of art magazines throughout the lodge. And I like looking at them because I wonder if like I recognize the artists, if they're still around. This one was from April 2000. And I opened it up, guess what? This was an ad for a show Scott and I did, um, Paintings of China. So Scott and I went to China in a month October of 99. And then we had a show of 
China paintings at Anne Hughes Fine Art. Gosh, April 7th. So this was, um, this was one of Scott's paintings. And then this was another one. I, I rarely did the market scenes like that. But it was interesting to see. You know, kind of a time capsule. I hadn't seen this ad forever. But yeah, it's 23 years later. Holy cow. Workshop is over. And um, I was pretty tired. Kathy stayed and uh, she's having breakfast now. I just, I can't eat breakfast. I eat too much. I, I got it. Oh, okay, it opens. I thought I would finally show my face because I hardly ever show my face. Oh, it's all wet. Lots of dew. But no, it's a good workshop. I feel better. We slept a lot. And we're going to go sightseeing. Oh. Oh, I can't stand seeing my bangs all the time. Oh, it feels good. It's going to be close to 67 degrees. Let me see the fall colors. I will show you a little bit of what we do today. Kathy yeah. is taking me on a Vermont tour of beautiful farmsteads or general stores. So she's brought her a class here before. And um, look at that scarecrow. I don't know if you guys see that little scarecrow there. Very, very nice. Just not far from uh, Langrove Inn at all. So, Kathy, where are you taking me? I'm taking you to um, a gorgeous spot where two of my students painted plein air. Oh my stood God! Here and here and painted this gorgeous barn. Oh, from and this, this view, was a whole field of Queen Anne's lace. So it was <sighs> so beautiful. With that little building in the background, this yeah. really is like well, right out of a, wet, so. a storybook. What? The grass is wet. Oh no, it's not as wet. I see at my when I was going in and out this morning it gets so much dew on the grass but I just changed my socks. Look at this. Oh they have goats over this. This is I could definitely see you painting every single angle of this place. Oh my God, there's so many paintings here. And I love how much care they take. Um please do not chase the chickens. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, look at this. Yeah, this is kind of what everybody picture when they think that they want to become a farmer. They want to leave their jobs, you know, in banking. They think this is what's going to be. But as we've seen, like, places are selling because it's really... Oh, they got, like, raspberries. I was say, what? Oh, they're raspberries. They're boy, they're... Like, look at that. And then squash. They can't sell anymore, yeah. I mean, boy, you guys are really lucky chickens. You could sit here and just watch them. Oh, this is fun. This is like Vermont Disney World. It is Vermont Disney World. And definitely, if you wanted to do like fun little chicken paintings. So I would say it took us, you know, maybe, I don't know, 12 minutes, not far, 12, 15 minutes to get here. There's very a lot of money here, so the, the houses are just super well kept. Ooh, that is one big rooster. That is a lot of squash. Hi, buddy. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch in the shadow. In the uh... look at this cute goat. I'm trying to keep my toes up, you know, when the grass is so dewy. It's like, I don't want my toes to get red again. Hi guys. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's the guinea fowl. Those, that's the guinea fowl noise. Look at that. <laughs> oh, for any of you out there that don't get to see chickens all the time, this is really fun. <laughs> and we'll bring some raspberries. Like uh, chicken food. For Nancy. <laughs> oh, of course, stores always have this fudge. Little things of maple syrup. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's always a feast of, to the eyes and probably buying plants out there. I'll just give you a little bit of a tour. These are the type of places that like you really have to take your time and because there's so much to see. You know, things that are aspirational, like, oh, maybe my garden needs this, and then it really doesn't. Oh, somebody made these things. I look crochet, what is this? Scarves, little table things, probably. Oh, look at the hats. Oopsie. <laughs> I know, there's so much stuff to see in here. So out here, two of my students painted here, and three of them were inside the greenhouse. They let them come in. They let oh. them paint inside the greenhouse. What a perfect thing. Yeah. And come to see the bunny. Oh, there's a bunny? Yes. Oh, over here. Oh, and they have a little pond. Aww. Let's see if we can see the bunny. Look at this little, little bunny house. Oh, Georgina. Oh my gosh, you are not real. Hi, baby. I wonder if she ever gets to go out. Look at this little Look tiny bunny, bunny bunny land. They had one that was this big. Oh, well, maybe he's, oh, there's another one right here. Oh, you're kind of hiding in the shadows. Yes, you are. Oh, look at, they have another bunny house over there. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, this is like a zoo. Yeah, this is like a destination spot to come and oh there's a couple right here oh my gosh okay all right yeah you didn't have to go to africa kathy just got back from africa look at all the wildlife here in dutton farm there's a big black one in there oh okay see if we can even see him. Do you show up? Actually, you know what? He's so black, it's, it's hard to show up. Oh my God, Sue. What? Oh <gasps> No, is this like a Guinness World Book Record bunny? <laughs> yes, oh it is. Oh my God. Oh my God, you, I, wait, is he outside? Yeah, well, he's got a bigger cage. Oh, are you, are you the oh best God, bunny ever? Are you the best bunny ever? Oh, he's nibbling on the little fence. Oh my God. Oh my God, be careful. Oh, okay. That is a cuddly teddy bear of a bunny. There's another one in there. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta see the other one. Oh wait, how do I get in there? Oh, I don't know. Can you guys see how big that bunny is? I mean, I'm gonna say it's at least two and a half feet, and if like maybe it got stretched out like a three footer, three and a half footer. Are you trying to break loose? Oh my gosh. This is fun. You didn't tell me they were bunnies. You didn't tell me any of this. Did you tell me they were bunnies? Well, all I remember was that like there was flowers and, and uh, like trinkets to buy. Oh, thank you. I really like seeing this bunny. So. Here's some pretty sunflowers right here, but I'm walking and look at, there's literally, is that just like a small chicken? But on a swing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I uh, disturbed you. I hope you guys like seeing this. I mean, it's so fun to just walk around. Now obviously these little areas for kids. Oh, I'm gonna walk through this little gate. I don't even want to think about what it's like to mow this. Oh, okay, I'll walk through. <laughs> the kitty scarecrows over there. The toy tractor. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is wonderful. Anybody that wants to uh, paint gardens, My video cut me off. 
I have to keep deleting stuff, but I wanted to show you this red, red, red eggplant. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. We've been driving some amazing streets and Scott... Oh, okay. But Kathy says that over, this is like a river. And we are going to this other, I feel like we're just doing a country store crawl. Um, right, let's walk, look both ways. And show it, looking at just cute little country stores. So this is Londonderry. Everywhere you go, there is maple syrup. I almost would love to do a maple syrup testing. Cause I love maple syrup. Kathy and I were talking about people who live in Vermont, for the most part, it's people who have second homes because there's just... That's only down here. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, up here, like in where people can afford these gorgeous homes, I mean, they, there's not a lot of industry. So in general, it's family homes or people who have second homes that live in the city because it's pretty far from things, but it's so pretty. It's like quintessential America. Hello, America. Pledge allegiance to the flag, people. <laughs> We're in a cute little town called Chester, and she's just showing me downtown. Just, I thought I would show you what, you know, this is like every little house, some banks, some restaurants, souvenirs, unique Vermont shops, Chester candy. Ooh, Southern Pie Cafe. <laughs> you know, a tourist. We actually were joking. We saw a tour bus right behind us. So I said, what people are paying hundreds of dollars, I'm getting for free. Is your arts? Yay. Okay. Pressed flowers. What is flower? You know, like they take flowers and they press them or they do little no, illustrations. Red flower? I don't oh, oh, sorry. That thing. I always feel bad when I don't show people all the bright stuff that we're seeing. I believe we're all done with Chester. I think we're the three blocks. <laughs> Sorry I didn't stop two blocks ago and start <laughs> filming, but... Lots of... Oh, look at this library. So this was one of the three paintings that you did. And what yeah, I gotta work on it more. Still. No, don't yeah. work on it anymore. Gosh, she does. She looks like she, she's like a she powerful is. oracle. Oh yeah, she's, she's so into powerful. spiritual things. I love being able to there. see like all the abstractness. I yeah. So I don't think you should work on it because you know, that would I just be it. too much. The hair is so cool. She is um, really oops. <laughs> You can just see. She oh, was really gosh, cool. you didn't post this one yet. Oh, no, no. I like it. Oh my gosh, and look at all these paintings. Look at this little one. Have you ever seen this? So is there um Oh my god, I love this. So sweet. Oh. This little throne. I love how there's the bows here. It's like the bows and then the kitty. Look at that's a painting right there. What are you looking at, kitty? What's out there? He's looking for Freddy. What's out there? Oh, what a pretty yard. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think that is the sweetest thing ever. And there's some did, you know, did you know Kathy wants to paint? Oh, okay. Of no, course no. she wants to paint. I love it. She's a Jesse. And of Chris. This is Kathy. Have you heard of her? Nancy, Nancy her. did that. Oh, that my gosh. Look at that beautiful head. Um, we were, I was just saying, there's a difference between... A Scott Bird painting and a Nancy painting. It's like night and dark. It's like it's like it's like, so it's like, it's like heaven and like underworld. 
Yeah. Oh, this is so beautiful. so beautiful. And you yeah. got probably You made him look like a knight. He looks like um, a knight in shining armor. That's what that's what uh, Kathy said saying, too. Looked, because you know what that, like that that little bit of that silver something. collar makes him look oh, like he's neat. wearing that's like true. um I love it. Yeah. Oh neat. Oh my god, look at that. Isn't that great? Nancy, he, that's he's excellent. So I just don't love to pose for us. I just don't know how you can do this. Well, I'm really trying to concentrate yeah. on because, man, He's I got to get good again. He's a paranormal investigator, yeah. and I, it, I <laughs> recorded you know? for you. He went through all his equipment. Oh and we were thinking about you oh. so much. So and yeah. that, that's the one Scott did of the same guy. And I'm just yeah. like, how is that the same model? Yeah. I love but it. But it's that's what art is. Oh, and then and there's yours down feet. there. Well, I love the fact that you're making it look like there's like notes behind every every face. Yeah, I'm just trying. Oh, there's Freddy. Wait, hold, stay oh. real still. <laughs> Lulu, Freddy, Freddy, Freddy's here. That is here, the famous chick. Freddy, Freddy. Oh my Freddy. gosh. Isn't oh, it funny? you're so funny, Nancy. Freddy. And she, and the kitty, Freddy, but yeah. Freddy ran. Oh, he'll be back. That is adorable, Nancy. That's he was gorgeous. Here. He was here. Yeah, oh my yet. god, it's amazing. Yeah, we would, well, we were, I was going oh to all the flowers. I can't, I can't even. I can't even. Oh, thank no, you. No, I'm not joking. Thank like, I swear, you're always saying, oh, I have to practice. And I'm like, then you do something, and you're like, it just pops out of nowhere. Like, these. Let me see if I can get it better. Oh, look at down there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's so great to have both of you. Is that not a mess? Oh my god. We've been having a great time. Okay. These are lovely. So this is Scott's painting of Penelope. Penelope is the lady who owns the barn that everyone paints at. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. These are all colors. Lots of grays and earth tones. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. I just love it how everybody's so different. Yeah. You know, it's like no two paintings are the same. And I just wanna I wanna have a juicy evening. Yeah, juicy. Juicy Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> His paintings are never scary. They're always I, delightful. I, I just feel I like so they too. they literally just are little rays of Hallmark sunshine. This doesn't you look like a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> I told him, I said I would give him some prettier colors, but look at your paintings are going to look like zombies if all you use are just grays. So... Scott is helping Kathy. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. I have to talk over the music or else they'll flag my music. Okay, I'm going to talk, 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 talk. <laughs> Here's Nancy. She's going slow and precise. Just showing you her palette and how she lots to use little, little color swatches. And she's helping Lee. So that's nice. The model is unbelievable. Oh, look at that beautiful picture of her chin. Yep, he used to sit pretty much right where Scott and Nancy sit a lot. He used to sit right here looking up at the model. I want to show you how they like their models. So you see how they have this big screen. So it would just be like a big soft box. You know, and then they have these uh, black, you know, to, to block any other lights from here. I had to leave the Putney painters because I was just getting so stuffy and I had to go get... I don't know. I think I just wore myself out. So I got back to Nancy's early and I want to show you guys a close up of this. So this is not a print. This is a bona fide, you know, real charcoal drawing. So it was done on one of those sort of like um, a sand off cream paper with um, dry charcoal powder and brush. And then you can see on top, he used like the side of a charcoal you know stick to sorry about the glare um that's his signature so yeah he put a dust down and then with like um a racer cleaned out the shirt and then just on top of that um 
Yeah, it looks almost like he used a harder charcoal. I mean, maybe it was a compressed, you know, maybe like a charcoal pencil. Because there is a difference between the, I'm sorry. It is a, there is a difference between the softer charcoal there that looks more gray and this darker charcoal. Oh my God, look at those lips. See how soft those edges are? on the top of the lip and the bottom of the lip. And look at the nose and see how he only accented one side because that's where the light is coming from. So he really kept the shadows except for like the five darks, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Um, those are what he emphasized, but the side darks, he didn't go as strong as, um, me, you know, he just, he kept those back a little bit. Anyways, just right here, in a hallway in their house is this incredibly beautiful charcoal drawing. Wow. I mean, really lovely. And then look at this painting. This painting is a, a model that would pose at the American Academy of Art. Her name was Meg and she was an actress. And um, so this is what I would call a monochrome. And I would also call this kind of like a dry painting because, you know, he scumbled. It wasn't like a lot of mineral spirits. Um, you know, so he was in control completely of how much paint was on this canvas and how the, you know, the canvas probably, you know, once he put the paint down, it sort of held on to it. It didn't slide everywhere. But I, I consider this just drawing with paint. Yeah. Probably some kind of terra rosa, um, you know, a dark terra rosa or some kind of color like that. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. I'm heating up some soup and I see this right next to me. I'm like, oh my gosh. During the celebration of Richard Schmidt, Nancy is going to be focusing on their Alaska trip that they did in, I think it was like 1993. I can't even remember, but it was early 90s. Yes, there we go, 1993. Oh my gosh. I love how so much he uses the tone of the canvas. And look at those, just those little pinks. How it looks so loose, but I mean, I don't know how to describe it. I really don't. But I guess the thing I like so much is that how he's able to get such pretty color. This one was, I don't think I'd ever seen before. One thing that really fascinated me were those two poles on the right. They're probably showing up more in the video, but when you see the painting in person, they, are, they just disappear and the eye just catches them like peripheral vision. So we're always talking about focal point, right? So that house is the focal point. So everything else, the water, the sides, everything that's farthest away, you know, is less and just supposed to be supporting. But by gosh, look at those beautiful greens and pinks and blues and how, the roof is all the same value, but just slightly different shades of like blue, pink, red, purple. And this is another one. You don't, I don't, you don't see too many sunlit Richard paintings. Well, these were done on masonite. So the actual boards are kind of heavy and he prepared them with, you know, his own primer. I don't know exactly if it's like a lead primer or what he primed it with. You can see there's orange underneath those strokes of the water. So he toned this kind of a orangey. You can tell it's peeking through underneath the green. But only there, not like in the sky or anything. Beautiful Alaska paintings that were like hiding and these gems, they just kind of show up. Nancy's always saying she prays that more paintings will just kind of magically appear. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. I love it when people write me about them and I have fun doing them. So I'm so glad that people are enjoying them. Please subscribe and follow me and Scott on our Instagram pages, our website, and also on our patreon.com forward slash Susan Lyon. 